All right, today we're going to talk about mixing color. There are three primary ways that we can mix color. Blending, simply mixing two colors together to achieve a new one. Glazing, where we apply a thin transparent layer over one color, usually a dry color. And then there's optical mixing, which we can achieve by scumbling, we can achieve by broken color, and also we can get it with a palette knife. So I'm going to show you all of those today, and hopefully you'll be able to apply them in your paintings. Okay, first is blending. We're just going to take two colors, the yellow and the red, and we're going to get a new color. We're going to get a nice bright orange. So that's all there is to blending. For glazing, I'm going to use this synthetic brush. It gives a softer feel. So I take a little bit of the CAD red and just simply drag it over the yellow. And that's going to give me a nice orange. Now all these methods, we can employ um, many methods in the same piece. So that's what's kind of cool. So you want to get familiar with these different ways of mixing. So now I'm going to get a very dry bristle brush and move on to scumbling. So I've got yellow down that's already pretty dry and I, I just need a little bit of paint on my and I can just drag the paint over the top of the other color and get a nice optical mix. Now for broken color. This is a little different. This is putting strokes side by side. It's kind of what the oops. This is kind of what the impressionists and the pointillists were sort of known for. So I'm going to just take this is thicker paint now and put some yellow marks down. And without really blending the marks together, the strokes together, I'm going to put down some red right next to the yellow. And the effect of this is creating orange visually. Now the last method would be to take a palette, light, palette knife and put down some color. Oops. Keeping it pretty clean here. Now I'm going to move to the red. And I'm going to lightly drag this red over the top. See that? Of the of the yellow, letting some of the yellow pop through. And that's going to give me the sensation of orange. So there you have it. You have several methods, just straight, straight blending, glazing, scumbling, broken color, and then using a palette knife, all to achieve the mixing of color. You can use these mixing methods with any combination of colors and you may want to use several of these uh, methods to achieve different effects within a piece.